guys, this is Josh, and I'm here at the uh, Kyoto Brothers Studios with uh, producer Richard Jones. And uh, right now we're looking for uh, dinosaur molds here at the Kyoto Brothers Studios. Um, right now we're at their mold, um, their mold warehouse. <laughs> and all of these molds that you see open up are actually molds for, uh, of dinosaurs. We're actually looking for dinosaur molds. And right here you can see the mold of a T-Rex and a few other molds. Uh, there's actually the mold that was on display at Jurassicon. That's the mold that was used for um, Scarface. So we're kind of just chronicling everything, seeing what we can find that might be interesting. And um, yeah, there we go. Play this video, baby. Yes. <laughs> You're literally like doing Tarzan the whole night. <laughs> Too small? Uh, no, that could actually be what we need. Well, there you go. Here, let me, uh, let me grab the ladder. Let me scooch I, it over. I don't want to see this. On the <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've gone through a few molds here. Um, we've actually found quite a few stuff. We have, um, this is actually a ground sloth. I don't know if you can see this. Some of the detail in these guys. This is actually from uh, Land of the Lost. This is actually one of the Cyclops creatures. Um, as you can see, he has one eye right there. Uh, he has a dinosaur body. And um, over here is a bunch of other moles that were kind of putting over here and keeping together. We have a Corinthiosaur, T-Rexes. This is actually Tasha uh, from Land of the Lost, one of the baby Tashas. So, we're doing pretty good here. Uh, what we do is uh, we kind of just blow the mold out. So that way it um, looks like we're cleaning it. And uh, what we do is we use this right here, this little air mold. And we just blow out the mold. This is to a T-Rex, actually, as you can see. And after we do that, we uh, put it back together and we label it with a marker, just like that. That's how we uh, sort through our dinosaur molds here at the Kyoto Brothers Studio. Hey guys, so this is Josh, and uh, we're actually here at the Kyoto Brothers Studio. And then uh, we finally got a phone call uh, from Steven. Steven, you got a surprise for us, right? Yeah, I got a surprise that should make you pretty happy. Oh. We're looking through our mold morgue, and I happened to find the original baby Ceratosaurus. Oh my mold. god. So now we'll be able to resurrect them and, and make new puppets from the mold. And this, mind you, this mold, we thought it was destroyed because a lot of these were the old molds, right? Yeah. Like they, you, you guys have switched uh, studio locations, and we know the molds get destroyed. You know, it's, it's it's kind of costly to store all of these molds. So we yeah, bring like, them outside. This is as many molds as they got, guys. <laughs> so they kind of deteriorate after a while. 
But uh, this was made by, uh, this mold was made by me. Ah! Back in the 80s. <laughs> Look at it, it's still holding up. Uh, it was a good mold maker. It's still in one piece. Look at how yeah. beautiful that is. You can see the positive, the little bump of the baby Ceratosaurus nose right there, right before it bites Eric's finger. <laughs> so it took us a while, but also another little hidden treasure as we're looking through, we found the Gary Owens dinosaur oh. as well. This one's not faring too well. It's got a couple of cracks, so we'd have to make a silicone positive and make another mold off of that in order to uh, duplicate this puppy. And we're looking, we're actually actively looking into an option to do that because we want to revive these molds. We want to revive all these great uh, movie props that you guys have made. And, um, you know, we're just grateful that you guys are able to like it. <laughs> Clean up Sunday. <laughs> so, alright, guys. This has been a discovery of the uh, the Gary Saurus, the baby Ceratosaurus, some more dinosaurs and son of dinosaurs. And um, we're going to see you guys here. Uh, stay tuned at this channel for more exclusives. Uh, right now, Richard told me to go pass out some flyers, so I'm going to go do that real quick. This is Charlie Kyoto, and this is the Santa Barbara T-Rex, right? Yes, it is. This is Duncan. Duncan, <laughs> the adolescent T-Rex. Nice. So, okay, so roughly, how much does this weigh? You know what? All in, I think the uh, an adolescent T-Rex could probably have weighed as much as like three, four tons. <laughs> but, but the suit. Our, our Duncan weighs 74 pounds. Ah, okay. So this is a suit that is operated by one single person, right? Yeah, you got one, one operator in there. Um, the, uh, uh, he flips into the, the, the feet. Uh, the performer's legs are outside the suit okay. because uh, of, of the, the anatomy uh, uh, and the articulation needs to be, the, uh, the performer needs to be free to be able to manipulate and, and do a walk. Uh, to put a, an actor inside the legs uh, would have severely uh, uh, change the proportions of the creature. Okay, so with the legs primarily being used there, the arms are free in the inside. Um, do the arms, the human arms, <laughs> um, the human arms are what sees the puppet the head, right? Yes, um, the performer has a, a little hand control uh, uh, that, that uh, actually manipulates the neck and head movement and the jaw movement. Okay, cool. And it blinks and that's a uh, 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 a constant speed motor. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's a set motor that yes. just kind of dictates whenever it blinks and stuff yeah. like that. Okay, cool. Awesome. And then, uh, really quick, this is uh, this is good for outdoor use. Like, I've heard it's weatherproof um, as far as being waterproof to a certain extent. Well, it's really funny. It's been, uh, it's been in the field for two years. It's a silicone uh, treated fabric. Okay. Uh, a silicone treated spandex. And it seems to handle the weather very well. Uh, it's UV resistant. It hasn't faded or cracked or peeled. Uh, it seems to have maintained its stretch. Uh, we're really happy with it. Okay. And then when you say stretch, you mean like the physical stretch of the silicone skin? Uh, the, the silicone stretches and the, uh, the spandex is a, uh, a stretchable fabric. Awesome. Which is great. Uh, uh, it, it allows us to uh, conform it to the, f the understructure. Cool. So, I mean, this this is a phenomenal puppet. And um, how long would you say this guy is just off off kilter? I believe it's 15 feet long. That it l l strikes me as longer than 15 feet. <laughs> I don't know why. He might have, he might have, out of the shop. He might have grown. <laughs> like, well, whatever they've been feeding him in Santa Barbara. Right? <laughs> yeah, the kids have been giving him cotton candy and peanuts and stuff. And that's why his stool has been irregular. Oh, nice. <laughs> the corpolite, the dino corpolite. Yeah. Is that what they call it? <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> they, call it, they always call it dino food. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are the physical boots themselves, right? That are being worked on here? Yeah, David's, uh, David's doing the uh, repairs. And the, Hi, uh, David. <laughs> the and so, okay, so... The former foot goes in here. Okay. And uh, he straps himself in, and then this joint connects to the leg band. Okay, cool. 
So, so the foot is the, the diner foot is outside the performance foot. Okay, so one whole toe contains one whole actor's foot. One actor's foot. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. wow, that was some big, big feet. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Nike. All right, so, <laughs> um, all right, thanks, Alan, Charlie. Um, again, this is the uh, Santa Barbara T Rex suit, and um, it's a work of art, literally. Like, it, I, it's phenomenal. <laughs> awesome. Good dinosaur. And he loves to cut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>